We have been talking about it all hour, and Judy Fraser is back with us with the official Woolly Worm forecast. That's right. Okay, so to kind of recap, let's right. kind of go over the numbers, what we saw throughout okay. um, the season. But first of all, I guess, let me back up. How, what, at what point do we start seeing woolly worms, and how long do they run? They usually start, you start seeing them maybe late August, uh, all through September and into October. But by this time or by next week, uh, by the end of October, they pretty much found their hidey holes where they're going <laughs> to okay. hibernate for the I winter. I was going to ask where they go, but uh, you just a answered my hole. question. That's of right. Course. A little okay. log or behind a rock. Or, I think we all know, wish we had one of those from I time to time. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all found them this year. Yeah, yeah right. Yes. right. Okay, so let's kind of remind everyone your findings. Okay, now this year, it was, it was interesting. It was a close call a little bit. 38% were black. Was she spiky, as we saw? Then 40% uh, were the brown, the tan, the orange, um, ecru. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and 22% were white, yellow, or gray. It feels a little bit like an election, right? You've, <laughs> you've got the two primary right. parties, yeah. and then the right. libertarians are always like <laughs> there you the go. smaller percentage there. There you so. go. And maybe it, it, uh, it's sort of like the real... <laughs> The real election. Which makes it hard to determine yeah, a winner, I would that's imagine. What, right. So and it was harder to, you know, make a decision, but I, I finally did after looking at all the worms that all the people sent in to me so graciously. Okay, and well, our, do we want to share I mean, I think the we forecast? Probably have a chance to talk about it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's so do it. Okay, let's get so to the official forecast. Officially. Okay. This is it, folks. Ta da! We need a drum roll <laughs> or something. <laughs> Perfect, but anyway, right. according to the worm, this is the official. 2020-2021 winter forecast, according to the Code of the Worm. I went with um, a little on the mild side, and I went with do not put the parkas and the mittens away, because in those cold stretches, it's going to be cold. I think this winter is going to be wet, but not all white. So, mm. so cold rain is so, what you're telling us? Sleet, maybe? <laughs> yeah, and mm. slushy. You know, we had a lot of yellow, slushy, white kind of thing. And so I put a new term, a new meteorological term. I'm going to call this a snowbrella winter. I love it. <laughs> I like it. You like that? That, that is sounds great. like a Disney princess a little bit, but, or villain, maybe. So, so what made you decide on that, those findings? Because of the, the majority the or percentages. The, of the white ones? Right. Being so but, high than yes. years past? Because usually you don't see that many white ones or, the, or a lot of yellow ones, uh, kind of a, a gray, forlorn gray. And so I had not seen that combination. So I had to really put my woolly worm thinking cap on <laughs> yeah. and come up with... What does that look like? You need to bring the woolly worm thinking cap. That's something I want to see. Do we have an idea on, on timing? Is it kind of going to be that way throughout the winter? Is it going to start worse, get better? Yeah, I think we're going to just have uh, overall mild weather, but interspersed with these cold spells. Okay. And uh, like last year, we had several polar vortexes, I call them, where we had record-breaking cold temperatures. So it's not, a t and for those who want snow, um, we're going to get some. I'm hoping for a white Christmas. Oh, always. Erin over here is hoping for a blizzard because she's oh, never experienced she's one. She's from Georgia. Being a Georgia oh, girl. She's nobody like, gets hurt. <laughs> a blizzard where nobody gets hurt. So if you can arrange that with our yes. woolly worms. Yeah. Well, if, if you have blizzard, then you're stuck at home again. And that I is think true. true. We've all we've been had enough of that. Quite enough. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> well, but, uh, we are so I'm, I'm hoping we'll have a white Christmas. Well, and yeah. we're always so excited when you come. I know everyone oh. at home looks forward to Woolly Worm Report Day, and so we appreciate you taking the time to continue oh, the tradition. It. If we could yes. find some sort of insect that would forecast summer, you could come back yeah. in the spring and do it all over again. So. It's Tootie Hoo Day. work on that. Oh, that's Hootie right. We'll work, that. we'll work Hootie on that. Hootie Hoo Day. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> all right, well, thank you Thanks. so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's we great fun. It. And thank you to all of our Woolly Worm Wranglers out there for oh, all absolutely. their submissions. We couldn't, couldn't do it without you. That's